Another day of disruptions, another day of removals from LA City Council chambers. The protesters vow not to let up until Gil Cedillo and Kevin de Leon give up. And while that battle rages on, the council is trying to move forward. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen has more on the big move the council made today. I believe it's unfair to just. Um, you know, the city and just everyone involved. Vani Aslani lives in LA's 6th district, which currently has no council member after Nuri Martinez resigned because of leaked racist recordings made with Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon. You're going to need to leave the meeting. For the second day in a row, Council President Paul Kikorian had a small group of demonstrators removed. Tonight. And the council unanimously approved an ordinance to set a special election to replace Martinez next April. Demonstrators believe that 6th District needs representation, but they don't want council meetings to take place until Cedillo and De Leon resign. Is there I really think that they need to not meet until there are resignations and then they can handle the rest of it afterwards. We're taking those steps actually in support of what it is that the uh, the, the people are asking for. We can't do that if we don't have meetings. So I understand the anger that people have. It's, it's and I share it. Kikorian says he's working with the city attorney's office to figure out a way to legally remove the embattled pair. In fact, I was first elected in a, in a special election. Zev Yaroslavsky was a former council member and county supervisor. He now teaches at UCLA. He says the council could appoint a replacement for Martinez, but that would deprive the voters from deciding who represents them. The, the 6th district already has a very, one of the lowest volumes of registered voters uh, of any of the council district in the city. So it, it could be just a few thousand votes that decide who the next council person of the 6th district will be. There were 10 council members present for today's vote. So technically, without 12 yeses, the ordinance will need a second vote of approval next Wednesday to move forward. In Sun Valley, Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News.